Citizens of ancient Egypt, welcome back to Pharaoh A New Era, and I want to ask you, is the game finally good? Because there has been a gargantuan patch, which has been a long time in the making. It's been two months since the last patch, and I was starting to get a little anxious about when the next set of bug, bug fixes are going to be coming along. But there's a lot to see here. There's a lot to do. So, what I'm going to do is go over the patch notes and also let you know what's changed and then I want you to let me know whether you think this game is now good. Because the Steam reviews have been mixed like the high 60s for the overall reviews, but recent reviews have been mostly positive in the 80%. So, maybe you'd like to review your Steam review considering these changes, or maybe you could leave a review to let people know whether the game is actually better now or not, because that's what the Steam reviews are kind of implying, that the game is now good, but it wasn't before. But this patch should make it even better, so you let me know. Okay, so here we are in the game, and I'm gonna first mention that if you've missed the previous patch notes, I want to let you know about those first. First of all, minimap is in. It's down here in the lower left corner. It can be minimized. Uh, there is ultra widescreen support right now, which a lot of people were asking for. I don't have an ultra widescreen, but uh, that is now a thing. A lot of people were asking for that. A lot of bug fixes are now fixed. For example, the cart bushes not drowning in the floodplains. They were supposed to drown. Also, I should go ahead and go into the options. You should be able to see, I think, under... Wait, no, it's here in gameplay. Uncap zoom. Let's uncap the zoom and confirm that. This is a feature that a lot of people were asking for. It could have performance issues, but uncapping the zoom, you can see the frame rates do actually drop a little bit. You can zoom out to the, the furthest zoom out level to see the most of the map. Also, uh, just you can zoom all the way in as well in case you're wondering how close you can zoom in. So let's go, so those are the big changes from before, but let's uh, go over the new patch notes here. We can see uh, new overlays. There's three more overlays added, bizarre overlay, magistrate overlay, problems. So these overlays would all be over here. There should be new ones. There we go, magistrate overlay. Uh, there's Bazaar Overlay. Um, so these these are new. Also, also I think it does mention here, most overlays now also have columns. So it was a problem for people uh, with color blindness that they couldn't actually tell whether it was good or bad. Because some of these, uh, I'm not, let's see, can we see, like Taxation Overlay. Like, they're all the same color. You can't actually see which one's more or less, you know? So the... Uh, these notifications, we're going to get into it in a little bit. So these bars are now new. These overlays are much clearer. Entertainment overlay, can I see? Yeah, so these have bars as well. They're not just reliant on color. Yeah, so that, there's, there's all these bars now, which is which is great to see. Uh, so that's good. What's next? Event management. With this new update, you can now manage which events must be displayed as notifications or should be hidden. <laughs> All these pop-ups, the whole ding, 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 ding. It's, it's, it's a lot. If you go into options, there's this whole new tab here called notifications. And you can choose which ones are which. You can even choose whether they're full screen or not or hidden, you know? So you can choose like how big they are and you can choose which one of these notifications you want active or not and in what style or not, which is, which is great, <laughs> right? It's, it's really nice to have this option because some things are like city status changes, invasion reminders. Like if I don't want to be reminded about invasions, I can just turn that off, right? Or if I want to be, uh, told about uh, disease, I can turn that on, you know, so that's really, really handy. Moving on down, flat mode improvement. It says flat mode just got better with this new quality of life improvement, uh, which you can now right click to hide specific buildings, right? So if you just want to see what's behind this temple, Oh, I see what's behind that temple. What's behind my palace? Ah, oh, just some lovely gardens. Very nice. What's behind this temple complex? Ooh, I can just do that. So you don't have to do the whole flat mode, which I think yeah, it's this, you know, the whole flat mode. You can even go to flat mode and show specific things. That's a nice touch. I don't know how useful that is, but I'm sure some people would definitely like that, especially because this uh, version of Pharaoh doesn't have rotate map. So expanding the flat mode options is going to be very, very useful. Okay. 
Uh, so, then there's burial goods. Burial goods needed are now displayed in mission objectives, in ratings overseer, and in the information panel for the monuments. So, I don't know if this particular map has uh, monuments on it. What, what map is this? I think I need to go to a map with actual monuments? Okay, let me go to a map with actual monuments. Okay, that's a monument. Uh, let me just check if I check the overseer of the monuments. Uh, so I think there's no burial requirements here, but essentially uh, it is saying that there will be burial requirements listed, which is kind of what was confusing in the original game as well. People are like, I can't get the monument rating. <laughs> what do I do? Um, it's usually the burial provision. So that's now, well, burial goods they're calling it. Uh, also, now, fairies. Fairies are something that uh, a lot of people are talking about. I should go back to the map with fairies. Okay, so these fairies. There were a lot of problems before. There's still some visual glitches, so we can still point those. Actually, I just loaded in. Let's see if the visual glitches continue. Uh, that might have been people who are already on the water. So these fairies glitched out before. Some people said they stopped working. Apparently what the problem was, was that if fairies cross, like this one goes to there, and then you built one here that goes to there, and so the paths crossed in an X, they kind of bugged out. So what they're saying here is that in fixing that bug, they found that one thing that they could make happen is walkers using the ferries would just go to the closest ferry landing. So like if you build this with that one and this with this one, people going here and their destination is over here, they could just take the shorter route, which makes it a lot more realistic and a lot more flexible and actually a really good change. That's actually a nice little bit of innovation. So it was a bug turned feature. <laughs> so that's really, really good. There is now also sleep mode. You can put sleep mode active on all buildings. So I'm assuming that means it is, uh, there we go. It's mothballing the building to disable the building so you don't have to destroy it if you don't want it working. You can mothball particular buildings. So like, for example, all these work camps, and I'm like, I actually only need like a few work camps. You can go ahead and mothball like three of them, right? So now those three, you can see right there, they're not working. We just mothballed these three buildings, right? And then we can, of course, turn it back on. So that's a really, really important change. That, that one's really good. I like that one. Okay, uh, now, level design and mission events. People have been complaining about uh, broken missions, busted missions, missing events, uh, missing resources, all of that stuff. That should, as far as I can tell from this, been mostly fixed. I think I saw most complaints about Henanesu, Sakara, you know, the on-trade route can now reopen, you know, kind of important stuff. Uh, Thinis, Bedet, Ishawi. Th these are all good, good fixes for these missions to make sure things are actually working. Uh, various fixes and optimizations, added mission type icon in campaign view, Ooh, decreased cloud size. Oh, the clouds. Wait, th there's a the cloud. I found a cloud. There it is. It is much smaller. See, this is a cloud shadow. And they, they used to be, I do agree, they used to be a little bit too noticeable. I mean, this is a reduced size. See how big it is? It used, it used to be reduced. And I think it's also slightly fainter. I can't quite tell on this map. But cloud size or cloud shadow size reduced. Uh, fixed various stuff. Uh, remove scripted events. Uh, pause option, right, okay. Uh, workforce priority is now properly saved, that's very good. The workforce priority would be this stuff, it now properly saves when apparently it didn't before. <laughs> you know, pretty good stuff. Reduced animation update calls, lots of, uh, you know, bug fixes, improvements, all very, very good stuff. I mean, the bugs were kind of one of the main problems. Uh, increased animations menu speed. Oh, okay, I gotta check that. Let's go back, return to main menu. This was pretty annoying. Uh, and it also says the main menu music does actually play now. Look at that. Let's press home. Oh, it is faster. Oh, look, this is sped up. Let's play. Oh, this is faster. It used to be slower and it used to be so annoying to be like, oh, I just want to get into the game. So you'd have to go like, play. Okay then this would slowly appear. Proceed. Okay. And then, oh, I want to maybe, like, 
play the campaign. Let's proceed. Okay, and then this fades in. <laughs> and this slowly zooms in. And it takes forever to actually get into a mission. And then gotta press play again. You know, it, it's, it's a lot. That home button takes you now back out to here. Also, very, very important point. A continue button. A continue button. Which loads straight into your most recent save. Isn't that phenomenal? <laughs> oh, look. A new Pharaoh. Uh, uh, the sound notifications. Look, we're back on the map. It loads into the most recent save. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, I actually should check one last thing. Military. Let's check the military animations and see if that's still busted. Okay, here we are. We loaded into my um, favorite map, Kadesh. Foreign army invades. We have some soldiers. They have some soldiers. Let's see what happens with the animation for how the battle is simulated. Okay. Now, is it still glitchy or anything? Let's, let's find out if they've done some work here. Go to battle. Yes. Yes, get the notifications out of the way. Do they just walk through each other? Do they actually... Oh, they clash? They clash? It's a little glitchy. It's a little glitchy. Okay, this is still glitchy. <laughs> yeah, this 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 definitely needs work. And I, at least the, the audio is not glitching out too much. It used to be worse. Also, like, the health bars don't even... This needs to be fixed. This, this is the problem, right? The main problem. But also... I'm gonna press continue to, to stop that. Um, we got defeated, so we just lost some buildings. Now... Oh, this... I forgot this Kadesh. Yeah, okay, return to city. Slow the game down. <laughs> uh, so, basically, the reason why this last... The most recent patch is the one I've been waiting for is because this two-month-long patch... It took two months to release this patch. Is the one that's supposed to be fixing all of the remaining bugs and basic problems with the game. Animations, fairies, work camps not working which should be fixed. Fairies not working which should be fixed. Carpenters getting monuments stuck. That should be fixed. All of that should be fixed now. That should be fixed now. Right? So they have said that they will be revamping military. They will be doing military in a new way. They're going to redo it. I don't know whether the, they haven't specified how, they haven't specified when, but after this most recent patch, if all of these basic bug fixes are now done, and there's no other problems with the game, they should now be able to just focus on revamping military. Now, it could take six months. It could take a year. I wouldn't hold my breath for a military re revamp. So if you're waiting for a military revamp to, to get the game, you know, you could play through the entire game and then the military revamp will come in right now, right? But if you're okay without the military, or with the military as is it is right now, um, then you could get the game. Because as far as I can tell, everything else is fixed, right? Everything else is now functioning as intended. Um, even... Even the UI has clicks. When, when the game launched, there were, there were no clicks when you clicked on buttons, like click sounds. <laughs> so I think everything is pretty much here. And now, hopefully, the developers can focus on that military revamp. Whatever the system they come up with or use, they should be able to focus on that now. All right, so that's a look at Pharaoh, a new era in its current state with its recent uh, pretty gargantuan patch. Um, adding in tons of quality of life features, UI features, and all of that. It's just now... Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, now, hopefully, they do work on either fixing up military, at least the animation, right? At least the, the animation should play out nicely to simulate the battle, uh, and also the military revamp. Let me know what you think. What are the, is Pharaoh a new era good now? Now, remember, I'm not saying great or excellent or perfect. I'm saying, is Pharaoh a new era good? What do you think?